Hi, I'm Dr. Travis Longcor with the Center for Sustainable Cities, and I'm standing here on the roof of the engineering building, Beekler Hall at USC, to talk a little bit more about phytoremediation. We have an experiment going here that investigates one particular type of phytoremediation called rhizosphere degradation. That's where the plant plants in the ground and break down the contaminants in the root zone of the plant. Rhizo means root, sphere, the area around it, so it's degradation in the root zone. And our experiment is looking at the promotion of bacteria by the roots to break down petroleum hydrocarbons in the soil. So what we have here are a series of native plants and some grasses, and our hypothesis is that the native plants will do a better job of breaking down the petroleum in the soil. We have here a black sage, which is a typical Southern California plant. We have some California sagebrush as well, and we're comparing it to grass, which is the plants that are typically used for rhizosphere degradation and phytoremediation. The soil in these pots here is from a neighborhood in Los Angeles that has been contaminated for almost 100 years by oil extraction and is now a residential neighborhood with some still operating oil wells. And at the end of the experiment, we'll be able to compare the soil degradation of the hydrocarbons in the soil in the pots at different depths and the bacteria that have been promoted by the roots at those depths to break down the hydrocarbons. That's all for now. Thank you.